Hello everybody, I'm back with another video for you today, and I'm really pleased to announce that I think I have a very powerful NR deck here. Very powerful Northern Realms deck. Uh, I've been playing with it on ladder today, and it's just crushed everything that isn't Skelliger. And I think Skelliger is probably the best faction. Uh, but this deck, I think, can actually rival it. I haven't really played too much against Skelliger with this version. But in theory, you've got Viraxis. He's kind of the standout card here. You're able to reset things with Baron, so that can be really useful against Greatswords. You've got Anseys to shut down engines and boats and kill stuff all over the place. Uh, so he's kind of a standout here, and actually a lot better than I thought he would be. His kind of whenever you play a soldier effect doesn't do too much, so you don't need to always play him in round 3 either. You can use him earlier if you need to. Um, but yeah, having Devotion in this deck is particularly nice for the Karak Marine. This card is incredibly strong. I, I don't know how... Um, how it's so strong, but it, it feels amazing. It's a 7 for 4. You obviously have to have the Devotion, but you boost an allied unit by 4, and that's a big deal. That is allowing you to turn your sort of damaged units into boosted units a lot of the time. Uh, obviously, you're disabling Wild Boar's Sea Valley, but more than that, you are gaining, uh, you know, uh, boosted units for your Visigard, for your Uprising ability, for your Scythemen. And that is that cannot be understated how powerful that is. Now, when you combine that with the fact that you can pull this guy out of Amphibious Assault, and you can play Amphibious Assault with John Natalis, who can also play Smoke Them Out, which also is giving you two boosted units, there's just so much synergy here. You can play a 12-point play twice, which is giving you boosted units. Huge amounts of tempo. It's not even playing very hard into tool removal because this has three base strength. And then you just go crazy with the with the Visigard damage, you know, and uh, and the Scytheman value. So this deck's long round is so good. I, I, I just played a game which you'll see where uh, this deck can definitely hold up in long rounds. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, and yeah, short rounds as well are pretty damn good because you've got a lot of power plays in the Anseys, the Varaxis, War Elephant as well, which has been changed, and now if you have two soldiers, it instantly boosts itself by eight instead of damaging anything. So that's really nice, uh, you know, with pockets of soldiers, like with Smoke Them Out, or just by playing them with your leader, gives you a soldier as well with the Scythemen. So that's really never a problem to get value from. You've also got Ildico, Ildico, and this often allows you to just instantly activate all of your um, all of your uh, order effects and you have a lot of them in this deck and you have a lot of them for that Varaxis Prince so you're able to kind of immediately slam everything down if this is on the board get a ton of points get all that formation value in as well and just go absolutely crazy so yeah Varaxis you've even got the backup on the marine I forgot to mention that but Varaxis can get that four boost and that turns him into an actually pretty strong play He's most of the time in that case going to be at least sort of 12, 13 points, maybe a bit more in the worst case scenario. So again, an evolving card that's just not really ever bad. Uh, and yeah, all the other cards support it very well and the deck overall is just great. The other standout card here is Karak Frigate. You've got this package with Frigates and Voimir in order to get a ton of those, you know, volunteers. You've got them with Smoke Em Out as well. So all of that synergizing really nicely to get you excellent Voimir value, usually in an early round which you can then combo with Scytheman or uh, the Visigard to just shut everything out and get a ton of points. And you've also got Boiling Oils in there for removal, so you have a bit of everything. You've got removal for the opponent stuff, you've got tool removal with Baron, which you can reuse if you need it, you've got Long Round Valley, you've got Engines with Reynard, you've just got a bit of everything. And, and the Frigates as Engines are so good, man. These are two points per turn. You can boost them with uh, the Amphibious Assault if you want to protect the engine, like against Skelliger they have uh, the, the Stunning Blow which can kill this, so you can boost them up to 7, protect them from that, protect them from pretty much all removal other than locks, and locks are not super popular apart from in Nilfgaard, so you can also Tactical Advantage one of these in round 1, and that's just an engine that is so damn hard to deal with. Um, and it's just usually winning you round one very easily with low commitment bronzes and just that six provision card. So all in all, this deck flows incredibly well. If there's only there's one downside and that would be consistency, but as I said, it's not the worst thing ever because your bronzes are incredibly powerful uh, and you've got Natalis and Amphibious Assault to tutor some cards. So yeah, just a great deck. I've really been enjoying it. I highly recommend you give this one a go and uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. 
Okay, well, apparently we're going to tuck tail and beg for mercy, but I don't know, mate. I'm not feeling... I'm not in that mood. I'm not about to tuck tail right now, dude. Let me tell you that. I mean, we could just drop Frigate. We can just drop it. It's kind of actually quite hard to kill if you're not against Skelligo. Double Frigate in hand, oh boy. Not sure I'm too happy about that, actually. Put any sauce for pasta? Yeah, I make some really big pasta. Really big sauce, big, big everything in there. So, you know, it's like... It's quite a big task, making pasta. <laughs> oh, it's playing a ball, okay. Let's dance, dance till the sun sings its morning. It probably means I'm giving up round one, right? I don't think anyone in their right mind wants to contest this round one. Don't move, look, mate, I'll spare you. Guys, you're kinda of making me hungry. Oh man. I should probably eat because I feel very, very weak. I feel very, very weak. I feel like a, I feel like I'm gonna die. Honestly, probably have some food. That was a pretty big card to play here. I would imagine he'd just play aristocrats. I'm gonna let him take the round because I'm, I'm just gonna rely on frigates. I'm gonna rely on my frigates, man. You can play two balls, and I'll be okay with that, I think. I'll be okay. This pops off in the long round, his deck. I feel kind of comfortable because I have a lot of removal. Like, a lot of removal. So I think it'll be alright. I'm going to mulligan a frigate so we can have that from Assault. Um, smoke Mount's okay. Shield guy is not very good against this guy's deck. We're looking good. We drew our good cards, so... I like this card art, man. It's cool. We'll be alright. Discreetly. Yeah, okay, so he's gonna have. He's gonna have some spies, isn't he? Hmm. That could be a problem. Unfortunately, this is just gonna play really hard into Vincent, so the shield is really not good. I'm really scared actually now. I might just have to play a frigate. I think I need more than one, otherwise I'm screwed. I'll just play this because it's not really going to be very good. That might not be true, but... Yeah. That's what we thought, Andy. That's what we thought. It's all good. Uh, let's just play it easy. Take it easy. Don't be scared to push now. Oh, he's pushing. Okay. Interesting. Well, then I'm going to play a frigate, I think, every time, right? Should play it on this side. It's quite an interesting kind of placement thing, right? You want to actually put it to the right because you're going to generate your own guy. It's like you actually just only really need guys on the left. OK. 
Okay, got a lock. What is going on here, dude? I I mean we can already we already know what's gonna happen, right? I think we already know. I'm scared. I'm scared. I think I need another one of these, but it might just get locked again or taken away somehow. <laughs> He's still here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'll ban him guys, don't you worry. No worries, my love. Don't you worry, I got I got you guys covered. It's all good. Alright, I think we're gonna be fine if we just get the frigate van, right? Problem is we don't have too many soldiers and his boys can get in the way of my boys. So that might be a problem. But right now we're a card up and I have barons, so we can deal with one of these uh, aristocrats. Just took my frigate, what a mean guy. What an unfriendly person. Got the pocket for elephant on the front. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, things are happening. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Goodness me. I have no idea what the play is here. It might just be War Elephant, honestly. Like, this guy's not really threatening, is he? He's, he's not playing much in the way of points. I think we're just elephanting, and if we absolutely need points, we can play a Baron. Like, if he goes Usurper, we Baron it up, maybe. Get the Elephant proc. Otherwise, we just let that chill on the board. It's might get poisoned, I guess. But we've got Visigard coming now, so... Might get Vincent in, actually. Okay, yeah, we need to go... We need to Baron it up now. Yeah, we're gonna need to Baron it up. I'm pretty sure about that. I have nothing to lose. Maybe I shouldn't have even clicked. Maybe I should have waited on the click. Because he probably wants to go for... Um, a usurper, right? No? That was weird. Maybe he wants to try to brick my Varaxis? Maybe he, I don't know how he would know I have a Varaxis. It's kind of not a card you'd really be playing, right? Okay. Good hand, really good hand. We've kind of got everything apart from Anses. That's the one thing we could really use here because I mean, we can we can reuse the Il, uh, Ildico ability. That's kind of the idea here. We could even reuse the Marine ability. So we should probably keep Marine, honestly. Um, we could also play it from Amphibious Assault. So that's an idea. But I think I'm kind of just happy with the hand, actually. I think I'm just going to chill. Let's start with this, um, or do we start with something else? This deck actually has so much power now, I just have so much power. Let's see if he removes this, if he does it's a pain. We can we have a nice play here coming up, right? We've got Uprising, buff this, Varaxis, buff him maybe. We'll see. We've also maybe got this boosting character room. Boosting each other. The problem is, yeah, like the Varaxis can get really awkward. It can get really awkward. You simply must pay my estate in Yeah, that's fine. Fine. This guy has a veil, so he can't be poisoned. Maybe we should have even started with this. But then Vincent comes, so never mind. But now this should just be living through everything, right? Maybe it's not actually that bad, guys. 
think this card might be quite powerful. I mean, <laughs> I mean how powerful can it really be? Right? So we can always, if we need to, redo the Royal Guard ability, right? This is really interesting. I think we're just winning, right? <laughs> Played around the Tony Joust, baby. Again, I'm just not sure what the best play is. We've got a 12 here. Royal Guards is decent. We've even got a Natalis in to smoke them out, which might actually be the best option. Because we're getting a soldier. I don't think it really matters what we do. We're probably just winning, but... I think I like the Natalis play the most. I think that's the best, because it just provides the most value for my Visigard and leader. It's kind of really nice, actually. Um, and then we can, we can give this guy his ability back, right? So here, how much did our Viraxis play for? It played for 11 plus 2 plus 3. So this played a, f a 14 for 11. 14 for 11 is, is actually it was better than his Usurper by a large amount. <laughs> this is the thing, I think this card is, if you're playing Marines as well, I think it's quite easy to get Varax's value actually. It's really nice. Alright, let's jump into another one. Okay, a bit of lockdown. More Nilfgaard. I'm really vibing with this deck already, to be honest. It just feels a lot better already. I'm not sure if it's good against Skelliger now, but... It certainly feels like it, uh, it has a lot of power and a lot of potential. We can just play Smoke the Mounts in round one and do a Scytheman round one. That's an option here. Um, kind of don't hate it. Maybe we get rid of one of them. Oh, we drew the Visigoth. That actually could have been popping off. Yeah, I don't think... De De I don't... Like, look at the deck. Where does Delohan get the value? All of my cards are already coming down at more than 4 or 5 strength, usually. I don't think he would work very well. It's a cool idea, but... I think on, on, on paper it's not even good. <laughs> In reality it's probably even worse than it is on paper. You know? Oh dear. Have I Do we want to just play Ansays? That's a legitimate question. Probably gonna not do that. I think here we should just go for kind of our Scythemen and Visigard value. We can play like Cutthroats. Don't need to necessarily commit a frigate. All right. Don't try anything, you little bitch of the woods. Now, Varaxis is only resetting once. It's actually not a bad card. I mean, it's, it's, it still probably is one of the weaker evolving cards, but I don't think it's... It's clunky, right? Like, it's difficult to get the value from it, but... It's possible to get the value from it. As a result, I would say it's not, not actually that bad. Let's go Frigate, because we do need some power here. Uh, we can't just rely on Smoke It Out, Scytheman, and... I think we need more units on the board for that. 
few vultures dare venture into the Von Morlohum's okay. wood. Hmm. I kind of just want to hold on to the assault. It's so strong. So I think we'll just smoke them out now. We'll probably play assault if he passes, but. Okay, okay, let's go for an assault now then. Let's just do it on the Carrick Marine, because this guy is so good. Or do we want to just even hold on to him? We could play a Cadwany Knight. I kind of don't want to play too much into tool removal, so I think we'll just do this. This looks good, right? Now we're pretty far ahead and we actually have Valyrian Scythemen and Visigard enabled. Damn, that's strong, man. Like, this is why I'm playing Devotion pretty much just for this card. Like, it's it's actually really good. The Devotion cards are really strong. Here comes the Poison, but I think it's going to be a bit too late, honestly. I think we're chilling out, because we've got Scytheman now. We're seven ahead. He Poisons, we've got Visigard afterwards. And then we have Baron on to Dame to seal the deal and win on even. This is the thing, you like actually have to respect the points of Amphibious Assault because it's, you know, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. I really like this deck, I really do. It's very cool. It's annoying playing against Nilfgaard because you do, you know, your guys get shut down a lot. I think we're just always going to go Visigard here. So we get to kill Infiltrator as well, which is a nice little bonus. And he loses on even. We got him. We got him. Karak Marine better than Stennis. Unironically it is. It's a better card than Stennis, I think. Unironically. Because you can tutor it from Amphibious Assault. You can wait on the order effect if you want. You can play two of them in your deck. You can reset the ability with Varaxis. I actually think you would... I mean, it's just a better card than Stennis. And it's half the provisions. <laughs> it's just crazy, dude. Alright, so we also got out the cards which can be a bit awkward, like the Visigard and the Scytheman, since he denied our leader charge value. Should just be in a great spot here, I think. I mean, do I even want to mulligan the Marine? I guess I do. Oh man, what a hand, what a hand. I'm kind of considering just all inning here because the hand is so deadly. Like if he misses anything, he's just dead, right? Um, he didn't really play much, so. Honestly here, I think we just go in a little bit. We can play the uh, Ildigo first. Don't really mind if it gets dealt with. You can get locked, you can get invoked. But if it survives, then uh, Prince Ansees is looking pretty spooky. We've got to be a bit careful, because if we brick our Varaxis, then that's going to feel not great. Like, honestly, we can probably just take a pass here and win, right, with this kind of a hand. It's, it's maybe not even needed to go in. I'm just kind of testing the waters a bit for a Masquerade Bull, because he probably has that. How's this fared against SK? SK is difficult. But honestly, I think it should be a lot better than it was earlier because I've now got the Varaxis so I can answer great swords more easily generally oh wow oh wow oh my god he's so screwed now holy moly oh my god dude this Anseis is just just deadly I, I mean he didn't deal with this so I can probably just play Reynard I can probably just go greedy here right I can play Reynard oh my god This is how we're getting our unfair value, right? Like, you have to play something unfair to win these days. I think this is how we do it. Yeah, I mean... Masquerade Bull, who cares? Who cares, man? Look at this play, dude. This is monstrous. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think we should be winning. We could probably all in and win, right? Like, we're 20 points up. Yes, he has a ball on the board, but does that really matter? 
just play the bronze. I think we're 2 0 here if we want. But also passing if we want. Like It's probably a bit safer to pass, I guess, because we got the ball from him. And we want something for Varaxis, so yeah, whatever. Let's get out. But that was a really just deadly. Like, you know, the ball actually saved him because that's you know, a lot of points in reaction to this, but. If he didn't have that, he was just toast. And uh, it's still very good for us. I'll update the deck in a sec, Bubba. Yeah, this deck I think is, is almost auto winning everything that's not SK, it feels like. I know that's quite a big statement to make, but really, like, you have so many points. It feels like quite often. I um, oh, would do the Varaxis as well, that's really nice. It feels like SK is like tier 0, and this is like tier 1. That's how it feels, and then everything else is like tier 2. So far. But I'm, I could be wrong, you know, like. Maybe there's other decks that are not uh, discovered just yet. Yeah, yeah, I will do. I'll update the deck command in a sec. NR would be nutty with a Purify. Yeah, if NR had a Purify, that's the one thing it lacks really at the moment. Like, I have to play an Artificer because it's the only way to deal with Tear. It kind of feels quite bad. Alright, we could probably just start with Firaxis because he used his, um, yeah, he used his Vincent, right? So he could have, he could have, um, he could have Yen Invocation. So actually it's probably a bit safer not to play him first. We should probably wait on that. Just, just be safe since we have an extra card. But if he'd used Yen already then we could go in like last game. He's a bit of an awkward one, right? Because you don't get immediate value when you play him. So you don't get as much value from his whenever you play a soldier effect. It's a little bit awkward. But against certain decks, you'll just be able to throw him out. Nilfgaard is just one that has the most kind of answers to that 7-point Veil unit. I think, I think almost no other faction really is going to have an answer to that, right? That's kind of what it feels like. Um, so do we want oil or do we want smoke them out? Probably just smoke them out, right? We're just gonna chill. And then we've got a Carrick Marine from Amphibious Assault. Honestly, that's like the most bonkers play in the, like... Like, you get a 12-point card. You get a 12-point play with Carrick Marine. You don't even have to play like this Kedwenny Knight. We could probably take this out. Because you're already getting a 12-point play with Marine, right? And it's not only a 12 point play, it's also two boosted units. Super big synergy with Uprising. And it works with your Heraxis if you need that, so... Just really good stuff. Really good stuff. This is, it's like a really interesting card, the Heraxis. It's like a kind of tech value card, like you can go for value with it. You can also just go for the tech option if you have like a Baron on board or a, or a Prince on board. You know, you can make him deal damage sometimes, you can make him reset sometimes, sometimes he boosts, sometimes he does this or that. Like, it's very flexible ability. Should we play around a second Amnesty? I guess. There's kind of no reason to buff Natalis because we don't have any boosts in June. I don't understand why you need offensive purify. I mean, on some level, you don't need the offensive purify, but honestly, more for defense. Like, Cuckoo Dak doesn't feel like a great card to run because so often it's not doing much. But you could, I guess you could play Cuckoo Dak. Artificers for tier, yeah, that's right. You can shield your guy, stop him damage, taking damage from Rupture. But he also works very nicely with Ansays, and you might want to, you know use that shield to kind of reuse him with the Varaxis, right? So he has a bit of value. Uh, uh, he did actually have the, uh, yeah, he had the, he had that. <laughs> this is kind of funny, we don't actually get Varaxis value here, do we? That's a bit of an oof. 
it doesn't matter. It was but yeah, I mean, it can get a bit awkward in a situation like that. If they have a lot of removal... Oh, that was a pretty clean win. Oh, that's some kind of mirror match. Close ranks. Some kind of mirror match. Okay, let's maybe save Smoke the Mounts for later. Maybe save Marine for later. I mean, they're really good cards, so... God, it just feels so nice. You play the Marines with the frigates and the... Oh, the, the lore and the synergy and the, the, the flavour. It all just feels so great. So what's our objective here? I guess we can play a frigate. Probably boost it. I love this, this little play here, right? Frigate... Marine boost the guy. Ugh, it's so amazing. Feels so good. Oh, it's got movement, okay. There is snakes. I could draw a becker on your forehead if you like. Look at this, I've got 18 points. Okay, it's more like 13, right? In two plays I have I've played two bronzes, I've got 13 points from 10 provisions, and a two point per turn engine. That's quite strong. That's pretty good. We can move me, but it's not really going to be a problem because we have more soldiers. I'm not sure about the city guard. I guess maybe that's a good card to include, but... It goes a one off. I'm kind of sad playing Marines though, man. They're really good. They're really good. Maybe I should have mulliganed them actually. I could play a Sideman here as well, but that's also a very good card. Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! The Marines are in town, man. I love that this works. It's just really cool that they, you know, they made it in this way. Can really vibe with that. I think I might just pass here because he might go into a long round, and I think I'm favoured in a long round actually because my deck is like pretty optimised. We could also play the assault first. I think we just play the assault and then just do what we're saying and go into that long round. Just take the Kedwani guy here. Feeling pretty, pretty point heavy. Feeling pretty point heavy right now. Reactors phase two is fine. Yeah, but I think Marine is such a good card that you are happy. Like, what is this? No, you're not playing here, man. That's not playable. He actually thinks he has points here. I'm passing. I think he had to just accept the loss. And I think my round three is really nice because I have Visigard. Just play some units, kill his engines with my Visigard, my Ansays. Do we just thin a bronze out of the deck for 12 points? Yeah. <laughs> with Echo. Ah, oh, it's so nuts. It's so nuts. Amphibious Assault is really, really powerful. I think it's uh, really powerful. Yeah, he's going cards down, I think. He is going cards down. He also used Visigard, which is probably one of the best cards for long rounds. So this should be just a free win. Never mind. I'm done. And he had lots of points. <laughs> but he did use the Visigard, so that's pretty good. So if he wants to push me here. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this hand. We could get rid of Royal Guards, but it is a dry pass play. Probably going to get rid of it and play Scytheman if we have to. Okay, we've got Varaxxus, nice. Ooh, I should have got rid of oil. But oil is also good next round to deal with some of this stuff. He's like an engine deck, whereas I'm sort of a value mid-range deck. I'm not really an engine deck. So it should be okay. We're just going to kind of remove his threats, play our Varaxis, just deal with stuff. 
you know? Play Anseis, Varaxis, get it back. Oh, it's going to be great. We've got the Frigate. Oh, man. I mean, we're missing a big elephant. That's kind of what we're missing. I think I might just mulligan away the Frigate because we kind of want to take that with the Amphibious Assault to keep it alive. Otherwise, it dies to boiling oil. So. Oh, I got the War Elephant. I have everything. I have everything right now, man. Jesus. Jesus. This is disgusting. Alright, give me that frigate. I might even row stack myself here. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we don't need to play thinning cards, just draw draw your cards. Truth be told, I think we're quite okay even without um Yeah, okay. Did you think he needs to boost that, otherwise it's getting boiling oil. It's getting boiling oil. Oh man, this deck is strong, dude. This deck is strong. If you draw the cards, you just win. You just win. It's really that easy. Destiny is unswerving. Cheated. Okay, we've got a daily marine. That's fine. There's too many options available to me here. Do I go Varaxis? I mean, quite like Varaxis as a play. It does get kind of punished by Anses. Ildiko. Probably has to remove Ildiko, right? You could do Reynard on back. Kind of like Reynard on front, though. Just gains two more points, which is equivalent to the two we would gain with Frigate, right? It's probably fine. Company! 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 We will win the game! Oh yeah, sorry guys, I didn't update the deck. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's the Anseis. That feels pretty good for me. He might have Varaxis, right? That's very possible. So I wonder if we actually kill his Anseis with my Anseis. Is that an option? And then we can go to Varaxis. I mean, I just have so many points. Look how far ahead I'm already, uh, I'm already way up at the moment. I think we do it. I think we do it, actually. I know it's kind of a weird play, but... I think it's really good, actually. If we just deny this, it probably... Yeah, is he going to kill my prince? Yeah, okay, yeah. This is the high-level Northern Realms gameplay that I want to see, guys. Sorry, Ildiko time? I don't know how to pronounce his name. It really bothers me. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. We can refresh this ability if we want, or we can go Baron. Or War Elephant times two. <laughs> probably not War Elephant times two. I think that's probably about it, yeah. He's got Eggy. 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 To be real, being real, guys, I think I think now is a barren play. Oh, I love this. I love this. I just love this gameplay, man. I think we boost as well now. Don't want to play into Igni, though. Can't have Igni, because he's got Marine. Yeah! We can play around, we, we know what cards he doesn't have. Feels good, man. No Igni nonsense. Hallelujah. This is incredible. <laughs> like, I have such a great long round, and I have short round power as well. That's, that's what you want, right? This guy's deck is kind of just clownery in comparison. You can probably just play this. I mean, what's the downside, right? We don't even have any soldiers to get value from Varaxis with, so... Uh, we just play the war elephant. It's fine. Wee! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And I can row stack because I'm able to go in back because of Ildiko. All my cards work. It's just great. This is just truly great. This is just so much. This is just so much. really not sure what to do about my um, 
Maybe play for Axis now, actually. Because we do have one leader charge. So I think this is how we do it. We just go for the extra boosts. Oh my god, this is disgusting, dude. <laughs> just casual 86. Yeah. Okay, we've got the boiling oil to counter Kira. But honestly, I should probably play my Visigard. Otherwise, he can deny my Visigard value. And if we're being technical about this, we should play Visigard first. We can also kill his Eggman here. Yeah, you know, just 13 damage Visigard. Nothing too crazy. You know, just just some just normal, just normal stuff, really. You know, just, you know, is what it is. Maybe I should have damaged these, right? Because... Yeah, I should have damaged them. I think we can pass. We don't even need our last card, right? This is reaping, reaping yeah, that was kind of a wash. <laughs> is his Varaxis working? It might be a Baron, actually. Double Baron is pretty strong here, but I don't think it's enough. It's actually pretty strong. Dude, the Varaxis value... It's off the charts right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. This deck is crazy. Crazy. And the, the Il, Il Dico is, is good. Still no Skelliger. I, I want to see what this does against Skelliger. But maybe we won't play against it today. So I'm going to need to have food at some point. Yeah, no, the artifice is a bit scuffed. But... We can maybe keep it here with Anses. Well, we've got Royal Guards for that. Probably we can play both of them, to be honest, in this round one. Let's get rid of our sort of stronger bronzes that we want for later. Four P cars are very solid in this deck, exactly. They're really, like, they're always, ah. But to be honest, mo with most decks, it's that. That's what's going on, right? Uh, these days. Possibly I should be starting with Frigate, but I think he'll. Uh... Yeah, maybe he can't remove it, especially if we do TA. I kind of want to see whether it's worth TAing or not, depending on what he's running. But maybe we won't get a chance to see that. I think it might just be safer to try to get Royal Guard, Frigate, uh, Ban. And then use TA on Prince if it's needed. Yeah, looks good to me. Plow off, clown freak. I mean, we actually don't even need to do the answers buff. I think this is better. Get that armored up frigate. The fleet has arrived. It's kind of cool, right? Northern Realms only has like two boats, but they're like super broken. <laughs> like these absolutely terrifying uh, behemoths. They just bring in the army. I'm not sure if it was intended that way, but. Yeah. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Jak się masz? Okay. There's two engines on the board, so he's kind of equaling us in engine power right now. Which is something worth thinking about. We've got a, a pretty nice void near Visigard this round if we need it. I don't I just don't feel like we can lose against this deck. You know? You know what I you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like this deck will lose this game. It feels like I can do almost anything and we're gonna be completely fine here. Chest <laughs> We're Polish, Polish now, Polish street. Disappear into the darkness. Be good. You get that feeling playing oh, Ethereal? It, no. Yeah, I mean I guess Lambert would ruin both of both of those ideas, right? This out. and Ethereal. Alright, possibly I should have gone with the Prince. I might have been a bit greedy here, but I think we'll be okay. Be fine. We might play War Elephant here. I mean, it's kind of expensive. 
but he's also using a lot of good cards, so it's, it's okay. As long as we keep something for round three, like maybe Anse's Varaxis, Assault, etc. Could just pass here. I kind of want to play. Hmm, don't want to play Baron. I think it's probably just War Elephant and Chill. And I don't imagine he'll push into this, because it kind of feels like a waste, right? Like, why would you push into an elephant? Elephant's pretty huge. I think we'll get the win here, and then we've got good tools for later. We can deal with Gord, we can deal with Horson. I think I can just go to round three, because, again, we're a deck that like has engines. It's kind of like Skellige, right? We have engines, and we have removal. We have removal, we have tool removal. You know, we, we kind of have everything. We have a bit of everything. A bit of everything. Alright. Draw good cards, that's all we need. Keep mulliganing. Still golds to be drawn. I really want that Natalis. It would have been lovely this round. If I got Natalis or Assault, it would probably be just playing that for 12. <laughs> That'd be really unfair, right? Fortunately, we're not getting it, but that's okay. I think our long round is still worth going to. I think it's still worth going to the long round. Um, we played two Fallen Knights, so there could be another one. That's kind of a card to watch out for, but I think... I think we'll be okay. There'll be a lot of engines here, but I think we'll be okay. We'll see. Maybe this is a mistake and I should push here. Hey Mondoran, it's going good actually. I was struggling to make NR work a bit, but I think I've I think I've found the way. I think I've got it now. I think we're there. Okay, he actually has swarm synergy. This might be a bit This might be a bit scary actually. <laughs> I don't really have anti-swarm, that's the one thing I don't have. Okay, we have Natalis, that's good. Let's get rid of Royal Guard. Marine is pretty nice. Um, we might want to get rid of Frigate to pull from Assault. Because it's a pretty good one. Then again, you know, we've got it as just a 12. It's really, do we want to try and draw a King, or Axis King or not? Uh, I think we should probably keep this hand, honestly. It's a very good hand. Okay. Pretty sure we're just killing that, right? I'm God! A duel! To a duel I challenge thee! Don't think we can allow those to live. So now we're gonna get a swarm swarm on swarm action, aren't we? Alright, so what do we got? Where do we want to play our cards? This is the, this is the big question. Yeah, this is a big question. This is a big, big question. What do we want to do here? Hmm. Reynard right now is good. I want to get Frigate out ASAP, but I also don't want it to die. So it's something to think about. I think we're doing basically Assault last play with a, the Scytheman for huge value. Sequencing gets tricky here. I think it's just Reynard. It's just Reynard. Reynard into Frigate into. Yeah. Company, forward, a bit of a protection. A bit of protection. And we like getting the boosts as well because that's going to make our Scythemen, our two Scythemen, really, really good. Okay. We could also go for the Illitico now to get the instant proc on the Frigate. I think that's probably a good, good smart move to do. Might be worth actually double boosting this so that we don't die to bloody good fun, but I'm not. Can also ah, oh, there's there's ways here. There's ways to do it, aren't there? Probably we want to just play this before it's wasted. Then again, if he uses the removal here, he's not using it on this, and that's good for us. So I think we'll do this. A gold chain. Gotta be careful of Igni a little bit. Um, 
Right. We'd have to boost this to 8 in order to play around stuff. I think we can do that. Might be better not to. I think I don't really care that much if he kills it. It's nice if it stays, but it's also not the biggest deal. This soundtrack is Oblivion, by the way. You, yes, you! Have you made your offering? Okay. The child's scars are proof of a parent's love. <sighs> okay. It's getting a bit hectic. I think he's not going to have enough crimes to really benefit from these plays that he's doing. Yeah, that was kind of dumb maybe, wasn't it? It's was maybe kind of dumb. Definitely didn't get as much frigate value here as I could have. I played maybe a bit too safe, honestly. I, th I think I should have just dropped a frigate straight away. Gone for that two points per turn action. Now it's just gonna die. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> and Idilko gets smashed in the face. Fortunately, we have Marine to buff it. It's getting a bit scary. It's getting a bit spooky. Actually, we might be losing this. We might be losing this. No. No. I think leader now is a smart idea. There's a time to reap, okay. a time to sow. Because our Natalis is getting boosted by Raynon anyway, right? Ouch, 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 ouch. Tameria has yet to speak its last. I think we're fine. Because I think his last card is good, right? So we just play this for big points. I... Yeah, we're fine, guys. It's totally fine. Last card, good. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Yeah, always winning with that hand, I think. No problem, guys. No problem. Probably pushing him would have been wise, but I didn't realize he was running sort of swarmy things. So. But we have a better long round than swarm crimes. I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? And I probably missed sequence there as well. So, yeah. Big value. Big points. Very nice. Probably could, yeah, I could have even gone for the Baron first to get another point, right? Instead of the, uh, another couple of points, instead of the Natalis. Deck is, deck is good. Deck is very good. Deck is very good. This isn't the deck for my YouTube video, no. Exclamation mark deck if you want to. It's, it's very different, actually. But it's, it's nice. I like it a lot, actually. It's flowing in right now. Yeah, no Visigard Voimir. It's, it's all good. Honestly, I feel like Voimir is kind of an early game play in this deck, which is weird, but I think he's how you kind of use, you know, you use him to push, especially against Skelliger. You know? Alright guys, I think I should really go and make some food, unfortunately. That means I'm going to have to leave you guys. But, thanks a lot for hanging out. And yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you next time.